This weather report brought to you by Right Price Heating and Cooling. Time for more on the weather now. And Amelia's at Murray Alta Conservation Park tonight where you found a fantastic view of the city, Mills. Jane, it's not too bad. A gorgeous evening here at the park as well, although areas like this in the hills and around the foothills will really notice those gully winds tomorrow. Not to mention the rain. I'll get to that shortly, but for now, we'll find day across the city. We just saw a few showers over the suburbs overnight. In the city, we hit a top of 19.3 degrees with temperatures as much as 5 to 10 degrees below average across the state today. Right now, there are thunderstorms and showers firing up in our north and west as a complex low pressure system over our our far northwest corner deepens. Now, it'll reach the eastern states on Friday, leaving fresh onshore winds in its wake. Interstate tomorrow, sunny and 25's the top for Perth. Rain will roll in late in the day over Canberra and Sydney. Back home and showers are almost a certainty across most of the state, aside from southern coast, with areas of rain likely about the west coast, Flinders and across the northern agricultural area. That's where storms are most likely as well. Sedona, Port Augusta and Renmark could see heavy falls. 15's the forecast top for those centres. So could Clare, just 10 degrees there and Kadena just 13. 17 the top for Murray Bridge, staying fine and 16 in Mount Gambier. Right now there is concern for heavy rain and damaging winds north of Adelaide as that low kicks into gear. With concern for flooding as well across a number of northern regions and eastern air peninsula. We have just heard reports of flooding about Cooper Pedy tonight as well and sheep farmers are warned of cold and wet conditions to follow with strong winds forecast across all coastal areas tomorrow too, including out of metro waters. South easterlies could reach 30 knots south of Brighton easing during the morning, tending southerly at night. In the city, and we're likely to see those showers from late morning anywhere from 4 to 10 millimetres is possible, tending to rain about our northern suburbs. Much cooler as well, 16 to top. Looking ahead and further showers Friday 17, continuing Saturday, easing Sunday morning with a dry day expected on Tuesday. Now before I go, let's check out tonight's Ray of Sunshine. And if you're hanging out for some good news, look no further. Teeny Terry, the two-toed sloth, was born two weeks ago at London Zoo and has been clinging on tight to Mum Marilyn ever since. The little one's taking it nice and slow, adjusting to the new surroundings. Back home and Minato Zoo has some baby news of its own. Galatea, a 22-year-old chimpanzee, is pregnant. Keepers were delighted when they heard the news, thinking it might never happen for the first time mum, but she's expecting a bundle of joy in March. Any excuse to get a baby sloth in the bulletin will do. And Jane, I think we really need a ray of sunshine over the next few nights too. Looking at that forecast, just 16 degrees the forecast top for Adelaide. That's around eight below average for this time of year. So grab that brolly tomorrow. Will do. Thanks, champ. Now, that is going to be typical spring weather over the next few days. So stay dry and warm. I'll have updates for you throughout the evening. From all of us, though, in the Seven Newsroom for now, good night.